caring for mental health in our communities. Mental health and well-being are fundamental to our collective and individual ability to think, manifest feelings, interact with others, earn a livelihood and enjoy ourselves. In the life of every human being, mental health is expressed in emotional well-being, in the way one thinks and faces life, in decisions, and in the space of interaction with others. The deterioration or impairment of mental health can manifest itself in various forms, anxiety disorders, phobias, depression, and others. The suffering in the psychic dimension of human beings alters their quality of life, conditions interpersonal dynamics, and influences the emotional state of those who interact with them. It is necessary to promote dialogue and training to adequately address these realities within our communities and to acquire knowledge that will help to discern when to resort to professional mental health assistance. Intense subjective suffering, difficulties that impede normal development in daily life, growing interpersonal conflicts, fears or anxiety should call our attention to seek the necessary means. In the field of physical health, we do not hesitate to accompany and let ourselves be accompanied. However, in the field of mental health, there is personal resistance, prejudices and difficulties in accepting the reality of deterioration. Often the required accompaniment and care are painfully eluded. We wish to reflect together on this reality at at any time and any of us can go through. Today, there are many tools that can enhance the experience on the road to psychic wellness, medication, counseling therapy, social support and education. Therapy, for example, can take many forms, from learning relaxation skills to learning to intensely rework your thought pattern. Social support, acceptance and encouragement from friends, family, and others can also make a difference in the way a person perceives himself or herself and in the relationships he or she forms. The characteristics of our life together can sharpen or soften a mood ailment. With pain we recognize that many times we do not know how to interact in the right way. To name and discuss what happens to us may allow us to glimpse new strategies and possibilities, as well as to recognize the limits that we must accept with fortitude, carrying with us all that has a personal and communitarian dimension of cross. Science reminds us that preventive action is of great importance. We are all responsible for creating conditions in our personal and community life that strengthen mental health. We need to cultivate a more integrative and balanced view. We are a unity. Body, mind and spirit, we are beings in relationship. We cannot neglect any of these aspects. In consecrated life, we have means that favor integral health. Reflecting on them and valuing them will make us more aware of them in order to take advantage of them and enhance them. We allow ourselves to be enlightened by this excerpt from the circular that SR. Rosario Fernandez Villaron addressed to us at the end of Intermediate Meeting 10. The care of the apostolic body is closely linked to the style of our relationships, and the criterion for discernment is Jesus, looking at him and learning from his way of relating. Do our relationships resemble those of Jesus? Are they guided by the principle of mercy, in the manner of the Good Samaritan, which implies taking a detour, giving time, attention and care, in an attitude of availability and flexibility? Are they truly from below, from within, from up close, from a spirituality of connection? Here are some questions that may help you to reflect, and then to share in community. Remember to take notes and write down what you want to communicate. How can we generate a culture of closeness and tenderness that allows us to take care of each other when one of us suffers from mental health problem? How do we live these realities in our communities? What difficulties do we face in providing due care and attention to each other as sisters? What community practices work together to care for the health of all? How could we act preventively? The way to share in community will be through listening circle. Who will water the possibilities? If the imagination dries up, who will announce the dance? If we lose the will to live, who will play the music? That no one composes? When will there be time? 
for true love? Where will justice dwell? If violence is encamped in our land, how can we listen? To a silenced God? Who will rekindle? So much dormant compassion? When will we get out of the cell? The door is open. It is time for the dreamers to silence the false prophets. We must dance again, weaving in our wake garlands of naked truth. Let the singer take off his gag, and prudence must find a way to shout the good news to everyone, to each one. It is the Good Shepherd's Hour. It is your hour. Translated poem by Jose Maria Rodriguez Olizola, S.A.